Let us now pray the Angelus in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now never shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now never shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now never shall be, world without end. Amen. We now pray the Novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it will be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with the lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your Sacred Heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. Please silently mention your petitions. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek? if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock, if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting my prayers. O Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this, my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you, through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful Mother. You have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Prayer to San Lorenzo Ruiz O God, our loving Father, Your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered Himself in sacrifice to You for the love of humanity. Inspire us to love You with all our heart to the point of sacrifice. Your providential hand led your servant San Lorenzo Ruiz and companions to the land of Japan to imitate the sacrifice of Christ and to proclaim the gospel of truth and the message of salvation. He beseeches you through the intercession of these holy martyrs that we be given the grace of remaining faithful to you always as they did that the light of the gospel illumine all corners of our christian motherland and of all countries near and far for your greater honor and glory and our sanctification We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. San Lorenzo Ruiz and Companions, pray for us.
good noon. Today is the memorial of St. Bernard, abbot and doctor of the church. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Andy Ortega Lim. Please all stand. <music> and sisters in Christ. Good day, Father. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for His full of gentleness and compassion. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, the greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house and the light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died. And she was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, the other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malon and Chilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the plateau of Moab, because word reached her there, that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, See now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, 
who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. Guide me in your truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters. This Friday in the 20th week in Ordinary Time, the first reading is from the book of Ruth. Ruth was a daughter-in-law of a Womabite woman whose husband died and whose two sons also died. She was widowed. She was alone. And Ruth decided to stay with her mother-in-law for her to have a companion. And it's a very beautiful story and a beautiful reminder not to abandon the widow the widowers, the, the, those who are abandoned, those who have lost loved ones, never to abandon them. Ang ganda po ng kwento. Malayong nasa malayong lugar si Ruth, pero minabuti niya bumalik sa lugar ng kanyang binan upang samahan yung kanyang binan. Lalo pa sa panahong ito, habang tumatagal ang lockdown, I can only guess. Depression also sinks in because of so much uncertainty. What about after August 31? What, it, what status will it be? Until when? No. But then we are, we, we should be reminded that in, in these very uncertain times, we have a God who will never abandon us. God will definitely send someone for you. You don't need to look for it. God will be the one to send someone to accompany you. Like what he did to Ruth. Ruth went back to his mother-in-law. And in the gospel that we have heard, it is from Matthew, Jesus was asked, which commandment is the greatest? 
Jesus made mention first, the love of God, and second, love of neighbor. But what is the greatest? It is love. That's why Jesus said, you shall love the Lord. You shall love your neighbor. The greatest commandment is love. He may have a multitude of definitions on love. But in the gospel that we have heard, love is simply being whole. You shall love the Lord with all your mind, all your heart. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Kasi panagmahal tayo sa sarili, gusto rin buo din. When love is partial, it may not be love. When love is conditional, it may not be love. Because true love is always whole. Laging buo. Kaya po sa mga mag-asawa, ayaw nila na may kahati sila. Sa magkasintahan, ayaw nila na may kahati sila. Yung mga bata, they want the, the whole attention of their parents. Uh, mama, tingnan mo naman to. Tatay, tingnan mo naman to. Yan. And we pray for that grace. We have a long way to go to learn true love. Because true love is giving your whole self. And we pray for that grace. And also the day we remember St. Bernard, Abbot and Doctor of Church. He is recognized for his holiness. Holiness is a gift. It is a deep relationship with God. And if we have a deep relationship with God, we will also have a deep knowledge, understanding of God. Looking things the way God looks at it. And we, let us pray for that grace. Because many times you are narrow-minded. We are short-sighted. But when there's, when there's a bit of holiness in each one of us, we will be able to understand things the way God wants us to understand them. Mas madaling maunawaan, matanggap ang mga bagay-bagay. And we pray for that grace through the intercession of St. Bernard. This rise for the prayers of the faithful. Let our prayers show that we love the Lord God with all our heart, with all our soul, mind, and strength. For every petition, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our homes may be places of God's presence, where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us include in our prayers the thanksgiving and petitions offered in this Mass for Mother Maria, Constantia, Bonnet, Anneli, Garcia, and for those asking for prayers. And for those celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries, may God continue to bless them. And for those who are sick, especially Rene, Nang, and family, and Selena. And for the repose of all the souls, 
In the silence of our hearts, let us offer to God all our prayers and petitions. Lord God, you reveal your will to us through your commandments as you bring these petitions before you. Give us the grace to live out these commandments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the Abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and in deed, we strove to bring order and conquer to your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to shoot in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mystery may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore the souls you pray, descending on your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for it is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Please all stand. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that they have beheld this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, all the bishops and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Lorenzo Ruiz and Companions, St. Bernard Abbott, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us sing the Lord's Prayer. peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive you. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should not enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
siyang pumukaw sa ating puso at kaluwa at siyang nagtulo sa ating buhay liwanag sa dito at pag-asa Please rise. Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, he may be caught up in love of your incarnate word who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Again, thank you for joining our online Mass, live streaming Mass. And please continue to support our live streaming Masses. And uh, as we all know, we are under ECQ until today, but it has just been announced that starting next to just tomorrow until the end of this month, August of 2021, it will be M-A-C-Q. But then the church has been advised to just celebrate Masses virtually. So until the end of the month, we are still waiting for clearer instructions. Our church here in Binondo will still be closed. And we will, but we will still continue our live streaming Masses. Ano po? If ever mapayagan, then we will announce through our live streaming kung meron man changes. But I, as I, I, as I, I speak, uh, that is the instruction. We will be closed until the end of the month, but we will continue our online masses. Ano ho? Yun lang, sana makatulong yung pagsasara ng simbahan sa <laughs> hindi pagkalat ng COVID. Yun nga, uh, when you go around the metropolis, there's nothing new. It is as if it's normal. Almost everybody's out. <laughs> you go around metropolis, parang normal na normal lang buhay. Walang pinagkaiba. And uh, if there's one need, it is the need for God. Kasi may mga tumatawag asking for prayers, asking kung pwedeng pumasok ng simbahan for them to pray. But we can't allow them because we are following the IATF instructions. Sana nga makatulong at sana ma-implement din sa labas yung mga dapat ipatupad. Unfortunately, the implementation is very, very weak. Nakikita ko po yan sa labas. Yeah, we continue to pray for each other. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, buting araw po sa inyong lahat. <laughs>